What's good, y'all? So in this video, I'm going to be reacting to um, a full breakdown of the Not Like Us video. Um, I noticed some things like the second time I watched it that I didn't notice the first time. Um, and I said it in my reaction where I was just like, I know I missed a lot. I don't think Kendrick puts in, in anything in a video without um, a purpose. Like everything had to mean something. <laughs> so... I'm excited to see what I missed. I do think that I got most of it, but who knows? Cause like I said, he be having so many hidden meetings under hidden, hidden meetings. Um, I'm like puzzle pieces, Easter eggs, all types of shit. But anyways, let's get into it. Craziest music videos of all time with so many subliminal sneak disses. File a colonizer and having the entire world chanting Ovi Ho. Apparently there's a remix to the record on the way. So stay tuned for that as well. But he just dropped the music video. I don't know. I, do I want a remix? Like, I don't, sometimes remixes go badly and it can like ruin a song. I don't know. I, I, I personally would want it to be left alone because like big disc records, are there remixes to them? I don't think so. I don't think I've ever heard of anybody remixing a disc track. But maybe, I don't know. Video for the record, and this was one of the most hyped up music videos of all time. Immediately breaking the YouTube record for the most views for a video in a single hour with 1.3 million views in less than 60 minutes, which already has DJ Academics questioning if Kendrick is paying for views. And there are so many little nuances riddled. Why? And, and this hasn't garnered so much attention. Like massive, this was one of the biggest rap beats ever in the world. I mean, news, news channels were reporting on this. Mofos was in... New Zealand and in the UK talking about not like us and going to OVO stores and painting shit on the wall. So why would y'all do anything to discredit a mofo? Let me tell you something. But whenever yo fave was getting all them views and had the most views, it was not that y'all wasn't talking like that, were you? Kendrick. Now, the video was directed by Dave Free, which is Kendrick's business partner from day one, and Dave Free also makes an appearance within the music video. Now, why this is so substantial is because in Drake's diss tracks against Kendrick, he was claiming that Kendrick's fiance Whitney, was having an affair with Dave Free, and that they actually have a child together, that this son of Kendrick is actually Dave Free's son. And Kendrick said the whole time, don't tell any lies about me, and I won't tell truths about you, and this video quickly disproves this lie that Drake made, as Dave Free is appearing numerous times throughout the video and even directed the thing, showing that there's no issues between him and Kendrick. Was he the man with the, um... Like the business attire and they shook their hand, they shook each other's hand at one point. Cause I thought that's who that was. Cause I was like, that's not just gonna be no random guy. I just don't really know what he looked like. And he had glasses on too. He was fine though, but. Like Drake had alleged. There's some other crazy rumors that Drake made that are also quickly put to rest within this video, but we'll get to that later on. See, the video starts off with a snippet of a brand new song by Kendrick, basically teasing that he has new music very soon on the way. In the snippet, he raps, reincarnated, I'm a stargazer, life goes on, I need all my babies, woke up looking for the broccoli, high key, keep a horn on me, that Kamazi. IP, the ownership, the blueprint is by me. Mr. Get Off, I get off at my feet. Now it's gonna take some time to dissect these lyrics, but off the bat when he says, IP, the ownership, the blueprint is by me, that's in direct reference to Drake's claims that Kendrick does not own the profits of his music. As he claimed on his diss track push-ups that Top Dog, the owner of the record label that Kendrick is signed to basically- I couldn't be nobody, rappers, a rapper, an actor, their girlfriend or whatever, because what is you doing all this for? Like, I would be so mad. I don't care if you acting or not. What is you doing all that for? Now he's a free agent with his own record label, PG Lang, and so the ownership is completely by him, as well as the IP, the intellectual property. He also says, I get off at my feet, which is another reference to Drake's diss, where he says, how are you big stepping with a size seven men's on? Basically making fun of Kendrick for having small feet. Kendrick flips that here by basically saying, I get off and mop feet, which basically means he's sweeping Drake up off his feet. He's destroying him. He made the same reference in Euphoria, where he said, Pusha T is Terrence Thornton, and Kendrick is Terrence Crawford, and he's whooping feet. Now, it's also important to know that even the release date of this music video was super calculated, as Kendrick released it on yeah. July 4th, which is America's Independence Day. He also did his pop-out legendary West Coast concert on Juneteenth. Juneteenth is the day that commemorates the day when the final 250,000 slaves left in America were officially declared their freedom. Now, these days are crazy considering all of Kendrick's diss songs have been aimed at saying that Drake, a Canadian, is a colonizer of African-American culture and has no true identity of his own. Now, the video starts off with Kendrick in a room surrounded by a bunch of dancers from Los Angeles, with each one of them wearing red and blue flags tied together and shirts that had the colors red, blue, and white on them. Again, referencing the colors of the American national flag and the blue and red rags signifying the unity that Kendrick is bringing to gang members within his city. The I completely missed that. See, 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 I'm over here thinking I, I was like 
Detective Nina in that bitch, and obviously the scene that follows that depicts Kendrick in a black room with dim white lights, which is an exact recreation of the second part of Drake's Family Matters music video, where he's driving to go have the van from the Good Kid Mad City album cover smashed. In that scene, there's also a man wearing a black shiesty mask, which is the same look that Drake rocks in the Dark Lane demo tapes album cover. In the video, that man tries to jump at Kendrick and he quickly gets blasted away. Now, there's multiple cameos in this music video that play strong significance. One of the most significant is the appearance by DeMar DeRozan, who's a... Okay, also somebody said that, um, that getting blasted away was also like, you know how he's made references to an 11-year-old daughter, um, he's also made references to, wait, actually, that was Drake that made the reference to the Millie Bobby Brown. I thought Kendrick might have said, but he didn't, that was Drake weirdo ass. Anyways. Millie Bobby Brown plays 11, and what does she do to niggas in Stranger Things? She be doing, like, eh, and then mofos be like, ah, like that. I don't know if that was a reach or not, but I saw a mofos talking about that as well. He's an NBA basketball player who was once on the Toronto Raptors and got traded for Kawhi Leonard. He's an LA native, and Kendrick actually rapped on the Not Like Us record saying, I'm glad D Rose came home. You guys didn't deserve him either. Again, every scene in this video is super, super calculated. This is followed super. up by Kendrick in a scene that looks to be a prison where he's just doing push ups. This is in reference to Drake's diss record, Push Ups, where he raps, Pop told you drop and give me 50 like some push ups. Now, this diss was in that. reference to the viral video of Kendrick in a backyard doing push ups to some old school RB music. And Drake is saying, Top Dog, the owner of the record label that Kendrick is signed to, is telling Kendrick to drop and give him 50 like push ups, meaning that Top Dog is telling Kendrick to give him 50% of the profits of his music, similar to how someone would tell you to drop and give him 50 like you're doing push-ups. So Kendrick is just absolutely trolling Drake to the highest degree throughout this entire video. He proceeds to beat up an owl pinata, and on the screen, there's a disclaimer saying no OV hoes were harmed in the making of this. Now, this scene has several different meanings. Obviously, the pinata being an owl is in reference to the fact that Drake's OVO logo is an owl. It's mm -hmm. also the fact that pinatas are famously known for being an activity at a kid's birthday party, and Kendrick threw out all these disses is accusing Drake of being into younger women. And an owl is also a predator animal, meaning that it feeds, it gets its food from other animals. And Kendrick, again, is calling Drake a predator throughout this entire record. So when Drake was asking Kendrick for quadruple entendres and lines that have like four different meanings, I don't and think he was expecting Kendrick understand. to not only come with diss records that had bars that had multiple meanings, but also music videos that had layers and and titles of the songs that had 800 meanings and and pictures and stuff you asked for it you got it and now you look tired all the time layers of meanings to each scene it's insane then when the famous a minor line plays throughout the video kendrick is depicted doing hopscotch which is another kid's activity again kendrick is accusing drake throughout this entire record of being into little kids and is shown in the video doing little kid activities what's also oh oh maybe he's gonna say that but what I was going to say is that I also was looking at it and it was 10 squares. And, you know, he said, how many stocks do I really have in stock? He said five plus five. And that's 10. Like, I was like, is that like, I don't I don't really know what's reaching and what's like makes sense. But like, I thought about that later. I was like, is that what he's talking about? It's also substantial here is on the hopscotch. There were the letters one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine and 10. And on this record, Kendrick rapped, how many stocks do I really have in stock? One, two, three, four, five plus five. Meaning that can see that I like when I'm validated because sometimes I be think I'm tweaking. <laughs> I'm like, bro, like if I say this shit, somebody gonna say I'm stupid and I'm gonna get mad. But because on I did a reaction to like that Lana Del Rey and Quavo song and I said it wasn't like my favorite and I didn't feel the mesh or the chemistry. And my were so mad at me for saying my fucking opinion. I didn't say nothing negative about them too. I just said I didn't feel see the mesh in that whatever take things out of context so sometimes when i say something like bro are they gonna say i'm stupid kendrick plays kendrick is doing hopscotch all the way up to the number 10. again trolling drake for the fact that he has 10 disc records to drop on drake if drake decides to re-engage within this beat other notable Please appearances don't. include a scene with his entire record label everyone from absol j-rock punch and top dog from tde showing you that these are all his day ones and completely School discrediting any claims that drake made that his record label was exploiting him or that he had splits with any of the guys that he was associated with business wise Another scene shows Kendrick Lamar and Dave Free dancing in front of a bunch of shipping containers, yeah. the containers that are used to traffic humans, which is, again, in reference to the disses that Kendrick aimed at Drake, where even Drake said he knew that Kendrick would take the Jeffrey Epstein angle against him, where, if you guys didn't know, Jeffrey Epstein is notorious for being one of the most disgusting human traffickers of all time. There's another scene in front of the Compton Courthouse where Kendrick is singing with thousands of people behind him, showing that he most definitely gets more love in his own city than Drake gets. And one of the final, most scathing scenes within this video is when Kendrick is standing next to his fiance and two children, which completely shuts down any rumors that Drake made that Kendrick was having any sort of marital issues with his fiance. Drake claimed that 
that Kendrick She's abused so her. Drake pretty, claimed that they girl. were no longer together. And he even claimed that the worst, that Kendrick's son was actually the son of his managers, Dave Free. That Kendrick's fiance, Whitney, was having an affair with Kendrick's manager. You can tell by seeing Kendrick and his son face to face that they are most definitely related. That that child is... That, that baby's his. That That's not even... And so is that baby right there. <laughs> um, like... I'm doing Maury right now. I'm looking at the ears, the eyes. The baby's lighter because the mom's fucking lighter. Like, genetics are very interesting. Just like the, the daughter is darker, but looks like her mom and her dad. Bruh, I'm not what I'm saying is, is at the end of the day, I don't know where, if he, it seemed like he just lied to lie because I feel like he felt like his audience was big enough that he, they were going to run with the lies. Um, but I think he's just never been through this before, really where the opponent's audience was just as strong and it was as strategic as it was, you know? I feel like he's always had, like, kind of an upper hand, whether it was in being immensely more popular or had a different approach or whatever, but this was very calculated on Kendrick's part, and he just underestimated him. And now he looks stupid. Is definitely Kendrick's. I mean, just look at the ears. You could tell. And Whitney is dancing as Kendrick is rapping Ovi Ho and he a fan, he a fan, showing that she's in on this, that there's no issues between them and that everything Drake said. And, and they're very well could. They could have had issues. I mean, they were together since they were like 17. Like, there was high school. So it was before he got famous. They were like, what is he, like 36 now? So that's a long ass time to be with somebody. So of course there was probably a, issues. Bro, again, like they've been together for a long ass time. And when you're in a long, like committed relationship, all that, oh, oh my God, take a picture. Oh, take, let's go out here and do this. That shit wears off. Very, very, <laughs> give it like two years. After that, you just like, okay, we just have to make shit happen. Especially with kids, like what the fuck? Y'all are really like immature to, to be talking about like certain shit. This is he threw at Kendrick really had no substance to them. The most scathing scene of this entire video for Drake must be when Whitney is crip walking to the outro of the record. The last scene of the video fan, is Kendrick fan, staring at a cage fan. with an animal inside of it. And at first glance, you can't tell if that animal is a rat or what it is. But eventually, as Kendrick steps away, I don't know what it was. I got scared when I looked at it. You realize that it's an owl, which again is in reference to Drake and the fact that an owl is a predator animal. Now, Drake fans or DJ academics could say whatever they want. They could say that Kendrick is riding off the hype of this song and that Kendrick fans only eat when he's dissing Drake and that he doesn't release any other music. Shit is stupid. That shit doesn't make any sense, okay? Because then anybody could say that about any Drake diss. They could say that he was eating off of Mickey Meek Mill. He was eating off of Pusha T. He was eating, no, Pusha T won that one, but I'm just saying, in any circumstance, that's what anyone could fucking say. We, are we going to say Tupac was eating off of Biggie? Because Biggie didn't release a direct diss track, I don't believe. Are we going to say he was eating? Are we going to say Nas and Jay-Z was eating off, like, what the fuck, y'all? Why don't y'all say that Drake was eating off of Kendrick? Because this shit was trash. And I, and it's like, I don't know why y'all are acting like, or I don't want to say y'all, but a lot of people are acting like Kendrick wasn't Kendrick fucking Lamar. Like, what What the fuck? He is a very decorated artist. He is a very legendary hip hop artist. He traveled overseas to perform multiple times. Why? Like, people are acting like he's like a new artist or was much, 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 much smaller than Drake. And so he needed it. He didn't need shit. Okay. He's one of the highest selling rappers of all time. So, yeah, I'm sick of this narrative. Like, y'all are acting like Kendrick Lamar is like this small artist or whatever. That, that's annoying and, and completely false. Just look up the stats if you want, really want to see. You can argue that Drake has more number ones or more whatever. Okay, what the fuck are we talking about, bro? Both of them is rich. But y'all about to piss me off. But he's showing you otherwise. He's premiering new music. that he has many more diss tracks in stock in case Drake ever decides to step back into this beef. I also forgot to mention that DJ Mustard, the producer of the record, is seen in the video wearing a Toronto Blue Jays hat, which he claims oh. was not an intentional diss at Drake because he got a bunch of different hats customized and he just happened to wear the Blue Jays hat on that day. But obviously, even if it wasn't intentional, Drake is from Toronto and the producer of this massive record wearing a Toronto Blue Jays hat in the video that's direct. And you can see, like, even in the, the scenes with YG and Roddy Rich and the other celebrities, and when Kendrick's just walking, how they have the um, red bandanas or 
blue depending on their gang or whatever and they're wearing white or there's a lot of people wearing white so it kind of ties back into the red white and blue shit uh, but also the gang shit it's the connection basically trolling you for five minutes straight just stings incredibly hard whether it was intentional or not so all in all this was just an incredible performance by kendrick he put tons of rumors to rest whether it was the fact that he was split up from his former peers and record label whether it was the fact that his manager was having an affair with his wife whether it was the fact that he was even with his wife still or not he was uniting his city on america's independence day showing that he has deep ties to his culture and his city and is doing his best to unify his people and bring peace and pride to them he's also playing drake's game as best as he could by trolling drake with multiple subliminal disses throughout this entire video creating memes that'll last forever and doing exactly what drake should have done when he dropped back to back against meek mill like imagine a back-to-back -back music video with a Nicki minaj look-alike where drake was just trolling meek for an entire or three minutes straight Nicki kendrick minaj. is playing the game right putting all the rumors to rest and making this song even more important than it was not only being a victory lap for kendrick throughout this entire beat but also being a staple and a sense of pride for his entire community by unifying the west coast bringing this video back to his hometown and celebrating the essence of what the west coast is known and loved for so what do you think drake's next move should be should it should be to sit down at his house and take take a vacation for about five months then come back release some introspective um about this whole process or whatever and be honest be open stop this capping facade tough guy facade unbothered facade because it's it's very easily it's 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 you can see right through it to be real so yeah i think he just needs some time because he continues to make himself look like an idiot you know so i don't know um i was gonna say he could like own up to what he did but he's not gonna do that he's not he's really not i have even said the same thing about jake cole like if the, he just gave an introspective type of performance where he's just like talks about how he felt through this process i think that would be beautiful you know because his move made it difficult for him to rap about certain shit drake's move is honestly really some like really, really tough of how he can come out of this um because there's some people that just don't want to listen to him no more. Like, it's going to be really difficult. That's what I'm saying. Give people time to be like, okay, where's a Drake? Where's, where's, where's a new song? Where's an album? Something like this. But this, like, you're being overly present and not giving people a chance to miss you. It's just, it's like you're releasing very mid work at this point. And, like, when people are saying stuff about his classics and stuff, what I've realized is those albums were written by other people like take care was half of it was written by the weekend and it really makes you feel like what really is your identity or is it or like what what who are you <laughs> who the fuck are you sir and i think maybe the next should just be him and his vulnerability or something i don't fucking know he just point me he needs to take a break he needs to take a break but anyways this is very interesting to see some of the other um perspectives and um you know thought processes when people were watching these videos and what he took from it and there's probably even more than what he said but he he got real deep into it so i really fuck with that but anyways y'all like come subscribe follow me on instagram for me tiktok i'll see you on the next one